Trading zones represent the space between supply and demand zones, akin to support and resistance levels. These zones mark areas where price movement encounters significant hurdles, either upward, resistance, or downward support for a specific period. Support and resistance levels act as sticky barriers on either side of price movements. They indicate areas where buyers or sellers tend to cluster, often triggering stop losses in trading strategies. Trading within the zone or waiting for a breakout when prices breach resistance or support zones depends on market volatilities. In range-bound markets where price movements tend to stay within a specific range, traders often anticipate that support and resistance zones will hold firm, setting stop losses at breakout levels. The zone of support involves buying within the upper and lower limits of the support level and the next unbreached price level, respectively. This green-colored demand zone signals substantial buying interest at lower prices, where buyers aim to purchase before prices rise and sellers await higher prices before selling. Conversely, the resistance zone encompasses the resistance line and the highest price the stock has reached within a specific period. Represented in a red box, this zone highlights heightened supply where sellers aim to offload stocks at peak prices before a downturn. Buyers are scarce preferring cheaper prices before investing. Trading zones serve as crucial technical indicators for investors, indicating potential peaks or bottoms in prices and guiding entry and exit points for stock investments. These zones provide insights into market behavior, aiding in strategic decision-making for traders,